afternoon everybody it is Marshawn Olanio here and I am here to talk about day 18 of the 30-day challenge of how to improve your relationship by 3x the amount um, yeah so what you may not know about me is that I have been <laughs> uh, really contemplating how these uh, lives are being taken what you may not know about me is hey Joseph wow I haven't seen you in a while hey Joseph how you doing um, so what you may not know about me is that uh, I need to come on here and talk about this very topic to you because I need to do this very thing so to the topic of today is what are you focused on especially in your relationship what are you focused on what you focus on helps you shape the way that you view your partner and the way that you view your spouse and of course the relationship it also becomes a powerful way um it becomes powerful in what you decide to focus on in your relationship and that's actually called the experience dependent neuroplasticity and I'm not gonna make this too sciencey but I what, what I will bring out and I want you to understand is that what you focus on changes the way that your brain um, uh, stores things the way that your um, neurons synapse and everything and how they actually collect the data how they collect the information that you are deciding to focus on and so research actually is saying that uh, the findings that again it, it, it changes the way that your brain is um, showing up and showing out and collecting information and everything and and when you're deciding to focus on the positive versus the negative or the good versus the bad, the past events versus what's, what's gonna happen in the future. Are you constantly complaining or are you finding ways to make things better, specifically in your relationship? And so when we actually change um, our brain, excuse me, our brain starts to change depending on the experiences that we focus on. So just think about that. You can change the way your life, the way your relationship is going just by the experiences, just by what you are deciding to focus on. Hey, boo. <laughs> Depending on what you are deciding to focus on is how you can change your relationship. It's how you can change um, the way that you are viewing things within your relationship. Um, when you are being deliberate about noticing the positive experiences sit there for a moment let that sink in for about 20 seconds take that moment in because what you're doing is you are storing new information ways in your brain and it is giving you something more positive to look at and to focus on to build up the memories that you're going to uh, recall in the future it's giving you better ways to stay positive again specifically in your relationship but better ways to be positive about your life your life experiences in general all right so be deliberate about what you notice specifically about your partner specifically about um, your relationship and just just be positive and just be open to the idea that what you focus on is what you are going to experience in your relationship so again if you focus on on the bad constantly that is what you will be experiencing in your relationship if you're focusing on the um, the good bad happy sad whatever you decide to focus on is what you will start to experience not only in your relationship but also with your spouse with your partner so as much as possible train your brain to focus on the positive so you can look at those positive memories and when things are not going so well <laughs> that you can start to focus on um, that you can recall the positive memories later on especially when you need to when you need them and then by doing this again you're shaping your brain um, to be more positive to be more compassionate to be more um, resilient kinder happier etc so make a decision make a choice to focus on the positive in your relationship and again with your spouse and this is going to change your day-to-day -day experience in life 
in your relationship with your pal with your with your with your spouse with your spouse <laughs> with everything around you again it's a choice that you are consciously making which is to focus on the positive focus on the good focus on the great in your relationship and in uh, within your spouse as well again because what you are doing you are building your brain uh, for the positive and so specifically your brain is building de depending on what you are resting it upon so again if you are resting it upon the sad it's going to continuously go back to sad memories if you are resting it on the good it's going to continue to um, come back to the good memory so just make a conscious decision about what you are thinking about what you are resting your brain on and so when you pay attention to these things, it's going to shape your brain, which actually shapes your experiences, your relationships, and of course, your life, as I mentioned before. So make a conscious decision about being happy or sad, and especially focusing on being happy or sad. Make a conscious decision to be optimistic, or you can be hopeless. Make a conscious decision to be open to love, receiving all the love that you can receive from your spouse from your partner or you can decide to be quick to shut down to close it all down to wrap it all up and then you start to build those brain waves toward the negative uh, when you're thinking about your spouse when you're thinking about your relationship so again make a conscious decision as soon as you find yourself going toward the negative switch it go toward the positive it's going to help your life it's going to help your relationship it's going to help the way that you view your entire world and all of this can be directed by the way you are viewing the world and what you decide to focus on so if you focus on the good you'll see more good in your partner you'll see more good in your relationship but if you decide to focus on the bad, focus on all of the things that are going wrong, then that is what we, what you will always focus on no matter what. That is always going to be the thing that comes up for you in your relationship, especially when you are around no one and you are having time to sit there and think about making a huge decision, whether you should stay, whether you should go, whether your relationship is going great or whether it's falling by the wayside. Make a conscious decision. To focus on the positive build those brain waves and those synapses so it could be more toward the positive and not the negative i will see you guys here for day 19 tomorrow all right have a great day